All right, we got a question from Joshua. Interesting, uh, two people uh, asking uh, grappling uh, questions. Uh, Joshua says this, I'm doing research on the best type of kettlebelling for grappling athletes, and more trainers are saying to do hard stuff. I, when you say, so, <laughs> so I have a master's in history, and, and the joke in history is always this. Uh, research means you found something, you lost it, and now you're looking for it again. Um, and I still hold that's true. Uh, very often when people say they're doing research, it's, they already know the answer and they forgot it. Now they're finding it again. Are you doing research like in a study or are you just asking questions? Um, those are all going to be different different levels for me. But I want you to just, just keep in mind that you, you, your answer was in your question. And more trainers are saying to do hard style. So if you talk to a bunch of people who coach grapplers and they all say, say do hard style kettlebell work, well, do hard style kettlebell work. You know, when I'm working with, uh, you know, really good American football or really good track and field people, athletics, you know, I, I, I'll hear certain things and I'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. And I feel better because very often at the elite level, the programs are, are so simple. You, you kind of go, wait, wait, what, 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 you know, um, I still use, uh, and recommend the 1964 Olympic, uh, gold medal, uh, the, the long jumper, Lynn Davies from Britain's, uh, uh, weightlifting program for jumpers. Um, it was, you know, clean and jerks, uh, uh, you know, one legged squat variations uh, up on the box style. Um, kind of some lungy kind of things. Uh, but it was a, it was an excellent program. Uh, I read an article a couple of years ago about a, a, a German uh, long jumper, and it was almost the exact same workout. And then I, I have an article up there somewhere about a British, I, th I think his name was Tomlinson, whose workout looked exactly like, uh, you know, Lynn Davies from, you know, 60 years before. So one of the things that I want you to think about is what the best and the brightest are doing usually is pretty simple. Uh, they're going to find the variations that are that that work. You know that the cost to benefit ratio is nailed in. Uh, should I do hard style training or competitive kettlebell training? Well, I don't know much about competitive. Uh, uh, I, I really don't know much about the the, the sport. Uh, I've mentioned before I've competed, but I was no good. Um, I mean, I like hard style. But, uh, I, I mean, I don't know what you're going to get from the competitive style. I mean, if you're actually rolling around in the mat, you know, it's like I said this in a podcast recently, when I played American football, I used to do it after wrestling, you know, we'd, we'd have wrestling season. And then in the fall, the football coaches, especially one I'm thinking about, you know, it always, you guys aren't tough enough. We're going to make you do wind sprints. And, you know, those of us who are wrestling were like, Okay, you're going to have a 10-minute, we're going to do wind sprints for five, six, seven minutes. Okay, good, all right. And, uh, I mean, that that's nothing compared, I mean, a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour afternoon wrestling practice every day was far more brutal than a couple of wind sprints. So, always kind of, you know, conditioning, conditioning happens in the sport, you know, not at, not in the gym. Um, th th then there's a final question. Can I do hard style training using competition bells? Yeah, I don't like competition bells. I don't like them because they bounce uh, when you do doubles work. Um, that's, that's my own thing. Uh, they make that weird noise when they hit each other. Um, the only, you know, you know, I, I'm, there's a guy named Joe Rogan. He does the uh, UFC uh, broadcast. And he talks a lot about doing the hard style kettlebell work on his podcast. The reason I know it, because every time he mentions it, I get about 20 emails or notes about it. But So this Joe Rogan guy who talks about all this fighting stuff all the time, he does the hard style kettlebell stuff. And I believe exclusively hard style kettlebell. I'm willing to be wrong. Uh, and it doesn't really matter in the big scheme of things, but you know, if, if it's working, I've been around some pretty good UFC people in my career, uh, going back to really 
what, 2005, four. And uh, you got to find the fastest, most efficient way to get the work done. And if that's, I mean, w whatever it takes is what you got to do. And if it's, if it's something as simple as doing hard style swings and hard style snatches and presses and goblet squats and thank you very much, that's not a bad program. Okay, thank you. All right.